We are interpreting trigonometric graphs in context. So let's go ahead and take a look about this function. So Claire is swinging from the tip of a branch of a big tree. The horizontal distance, so the distance uh, left and right between Claire and the trunk of the tree in meters is modeled by d sub t, where t is time in seconds. The function is graphed below along with one segment highlighted. All right, and there's our highlighted segment, it looks like. Answer, answer, two questions about the highlighted segment. Okay. And I think it's this segment right there that they're talking about. Which feature of the graph corresponds to the highlighted segment? Well, this is halfway between the maximum and the minimum. So halfway between is called the midline. Midline is the halfway point. That's this right here. What is the meaning of the highlighted segment? So I think they're talking about this right here. What is that meaning? Uh, Claire completes two cycles per second. Let's see. So uh, let's go in right here. It's about one. So let me just go ahead and draw. I think I clicked on it now. I'm going to draw. So yeah, we can go ahead and start at the, usually we start at the Y axis. So uh, here's time zero. And the next time it does that is right here. It's going up. So uh, that is one cycle, and that is at about uh, 1.8 seconds. So every 1.8 seconds, she repeats a cycle. Uh, she completes two cycles per second. No, it would have went a lot faster per this, so it's not that. The tip of the branch is two meters from the trunk. Okay. So Claire, trunk of the tree, between Claire and the trunk of the tree, okay, in meters. So the tip of the branch is two meters from the trunk. Uh, I don't even see tip of the branch. Oh, there it is, swinging from the tip of a branch of a big tree. So uh, we are two meters. And if that's where it was, if it was the tip of the branch is two meters from the trunk of the tree, uh, it would have started right here at the two meter mark. And then it gets closer. Well, that, yeah, that could be, that could be tip of the branches. So that one's a possible. The farthest Claire gets from the tip of the branch is two meters. The farthest she gets from the tip of the branch is two meters. So I like that one also, that's two meters from this midline point. And Claire completes a cycle every two seconds. So every two seconds, so it's almost two seconds is what I got, uh, not two seconds for me. Okay, so I say no on that one. So which one is it? The tip of the branch is two meters from the trunk or the farthest Claire gets from the tip of the branch is two meters. Well, she gets farther, right? From, uh, so she goes two meters from that tip. That could be, hmm. let's see. Tip of the branch is two meters from the trunk. Let's go ahead and analyze what happened here. Midline, got that, period, amplitude, yep. There's the midline, yep. Uh, not explaining the tip of the branch is two meters from the trunk. Tip of the branch 
it starts at two meters. So I think she's swinging back and forth at the two meter mark. All right, so kind of tough on that one. Let's try the next one. Marcy observing her younger brother riding a carousel. The horizontal distance between Marcy and her brother in meters is modeled by D sub T where T is time in seconds. The function is graphed below along with one segment highlighted. All right, so there's our highlighted segment right there. Uh, answer two questions about the highlighted segment. Which feature, which feature of the graph corresponds to the highlighted segment? Well, it's good to remind yourself this is the midline. And then we go up and we go down that same distance. That's our amplitude. That's our A, amplitude. So that's what that corresponds with, amplitude. All right. What is the meaning of the highlighted segment? All right. So then now we have to interpret what that means from the problem. All right. So Macy is observing her younger brother riding a carousel. The horizontal distance between Macy and her brother in meters is modeled by D sub T where time in seconds. So, uh, her brother gets closer to her and then farther away, closer to her and farther away, closer to her, farther away. All right. So what does that represent? Uh, this segment right here represents uh, getting farther uh, from her. The farthest uh, he gets from her would be kind of the answer. Macy is four meters from the center of the carousel. No. Nope. Macy's brother is four meters from the center of the carousel? Nope. The carousel completes four cycles every second. The carousel completes one cycle every four seconds. So let's go ahead and take a look at the cycle then. So this is the starting point right here going down. So the next time it goes down is right here. So at this moment and at this moment, how far, how long is that? Uh, these are in time in seconds. So it takes 20 seconds for one cycle. She completes four cycles every second. The carousel completes one cycle every four seconds. The carousel completes one cycle every 20 seconds. The carousel completes four cycles every second. So here would be one second right here. It would have to go really fast, so that's not it. So it's one of these two. Macy's brother is four meters from the center of the carousel. Macy is four meters from the center of the carousel. All right, well, this is how far the younger brother is riding the carousel. So, uh, Macy is, uh, from the center is 10 meters. So it's not Macy. So it'd have to be the brother. And the brother keeps going up and down, up and down from uh, two meters, two meters. So going around that center. So uh, each one of these, we just got to kind of logic our way through it. And then I really recommend reading through these and getting used to what they're talking about with these problems. So especially the kind of the, the summary of what's happening here. Okay. And it looks like the rest of them are pretty much the same. Do that same idea. Uh, we can see here that it's bottom to bottom. So that's midline, or <laughs> that's our period. And what's the meaning of the highlighted segment? Okay, so this would be how long it takes to kind of repeat itself. Uh, it completes, so this is 10 seconds, right? We're in seconds, yep, 10 seconds is one cycle. Uh, the length of the blade is the millis two blades. Blade. 
a single cycle in 10 seconds. So that one wasn't too bad. All right. So kind of go through these and do your best to make sense about what's going on. Each one's kind of tough and unique. 